Setting up a brand new split board is a labor of love and it's a bit like preparing for all your upcoming adventures. It's a process that can't be done in five minutes and that requires a little bit of time and effort and also a few adjustments so that your setup can be dialed in every conditions and even in the wild. First thing is the stance. You need to know what's your stance. For your info, mine is 59 and my angles are three degrees on the back foot and 18 degrees on the front foot. So that mark, I'll be able to see it and use it when I set up the binding. Very important. Up, all right. So this is the trickiest part because you basically need to adjust these pieces to make them work together. So now we're gonna put the little adjustment plates that go onto the binding. So you see, now at that stage I like to not tighten the pieces and put the binding in so that it's gonna be matching perfectly. Once the binding is in place, that's when I'm going to be tightening everything in the right position. I don't make it completely tight. I leave two, three millimeters so that there's a little bit of space for the ice. The knives are quite important. And uh, basically I used to never use them and um, once I started, it kind of changed everything. I'm adjusting now the, the hill risers yeah, to the ski lock. So this is gonna be the system which will hook onto the hill riser and which will allow you to be in ski mode whenever you are like in a lot of descent. It can be useful, I never use it, but So the pieces that keep my boat together are a bit too tight because they're brand new, so they don't glide. So I'm gonna add a bit of WD-40 up. So that I know next time when I go into the mountains, it's not gonna make me that bad surprise and make me look like a fool. When you put your boat in riding mode, it's important that there would be no gap in between the edges. First of all, so that it's not gonna grab onto the snow, especially on the groomers. And second of all, also so that the board reacts as one and that is really tied together, you know what I mean. So now let's test the boot. I usually like to have a bit more toe drag rather than heel drag. So I'm gonna move them a bit forward. All I've done there is move the whole heel piece forward to center the boot. Yeah, and that's much better. I like to have my height back parallel to the edge and not square with the binding. So I put it a bit of, a, of an angle. Ta-da! ready to go into the mountains, but it's important on the first tour to take a few tools in case you need to adjust anything, because that's gonna happen for sure. And um, yeah, happy adventures. That's all I gotta say.